And we have arrived. Oh boy. Hey, you all, and good evening. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the West. More specifically tonight, we are in Valencia, California. And even more specifically than that, we are at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Tonight is Fright Fest. But this year, they have added a caveat. It is Fright Fest Extreme. Because for this year, they are actually incorporating a lot of IP haunts, intellectual property haunts, from exist from movies, existing ideas, ex existing concepts. But um, they did this last year with a, with a couple. They tested it out. They did uh, Saw and The Conjuring last year. Uh, was able to come out here and check those out. A lot of fun. And uh, this year they're going to be they're going all out. They're adding more movies. They're adding. Um, Stranger Things, they're adding, uh, I think, Trick or Treat, and uh, they have a whole other, you know, whole other pantheon of, of, of mazes as well um, that we can check out. I think they are running actually a lot of mazes tonight, so it's really exciting to see how uh, how they how they how they pull this off, how it looks, how the different uh, different haunts, are, how accurate they are to their prospective brands. Um, and I did do, if you're watching this channel, I did do Six Flags Over Georgia Fright Fest. That was not extreme. And uh, they had um, Saw and Stranger Things there. And I thought they did a pretty decent job with those haunts. So we will see tonight. Please follow me. Don't scare me, don't scare me. Oh. <laughs> fun logo this year the tombstone the big monster big green monster hand coming out and grabbing the logo and don't forget it is extreme all right now it's five minutes five minutes until the opening ceremonies here at Six Flags Magic Mountain the opening ceremonies don't take place here in the front of the park they actually take place in the uh, DC area it's back this way so I'm gonna hurry up and try to make it Try to make it to the opening ceremonies. I can't miss opening ceremonies. I just can't. Yeah, show up. If you show up for a Fright Fest at Six Flags Magic Mountain, make sure you get there a little bit early because uh, the, the opening ceremony is a bit of a walk from the entrance to the park. Okay, got three minutes. Three minutes until opening ceremonies. Gotta keep pushing. To cut here through Bugs Bunny Land. Oh my gosh, opening ceremonies starts in one minute. I feel like I'm not gonna make it. Oh my goodness. Okay, starting right now as we walk up. We made it. Zombies, demons, and ghouls have invaded the park. For those that choose to remain, prepare yourselves. You may not escape unscathed. There's the monsters. I don't know if there's some technical difficulties, but uh, looks like we arrived here with plenty of time. There's no monsters yet. Attention guests. Zombies, demons, and ghouls have invaded the park. For those that choose to remain, prepare yourselves. Yeah, it does indeed look like there are some technical difficulties. It's about 15 minutes past when the ceremonies were supposed to happen. And we are still waiting for monsters. Okay, there they are, the monsters. The monsters finally showed up. Better late than never. Monster rave here. Well, they're backing us up. Gotta let the monsters out. Oh my gosh! That was a big witch. 
This scare zone is Plaza de la Muerte. In Spanish, that is the Plaza of Death. Say I'm muy bonita. Oh, I. You're muy, muy bonita. Yeah, muy bonita. Forgot my Spanish there for a second. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness. Yeah, this scare zone has some beautiful glowing flowers and, and uh, butterflies, but there's still plenty, still plenty of scares. I'm gonna head back through the Bugs Bunny section, but here during Fright Fest it becomes Carniv Hell. Instead of a carnival, it is carniv hell. Now I've seen plenty of places that are carn evil, like combining evil and carnival. This is so bad, it's carnival and hell mixed together. So maybe we should find some some demons or Satan himself in here. I thought that was a stilt walker, but it's just someone carrying a giant banana. You do have this very spooky popcorn cart here. Oh, there's a clown in there. The clown in there looks like he's potentially been murdered and uh, blood squirted everywhere. Looks like there's actually a squeeze bottle full of blood instead of ketchup. During the day, this is Looney Tunes Lodge, but at night, it becomes a place where they murder clowns. <laughs> Over here at Daffy Duck's Adventure Tours, they have a giant clown mouth ticket booth where someone has had their entrails removed. Oh. Oh, look at this. Some sort of evil zebra-like creature. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a worm? Because you're a, you're a half bird, half person? <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to Ah, oh, it's that zebra again! <laughs> oh, another bird lady. I have a DJ UFO area with these tall space giants! Hey, buddy! Oh! He pooped me! Yeah, here is the full list of haunts. Um, the, the, the IP haunts are Saw, Legacy of Terror, that's new. So I'm guessing they redid it from uh, from last year. You got Stranger Things, you've got uh, Trick or Treat, and then I think there was one more IP. Yeah, the Army of Army of the Dead, that movie with Batista in it, the zombie movie, and they have the Conjuring Universe. That says new too, so I guess they maybe they have reimagined the uh, ones that debuted last year. In this back area, there's kind of a haunted house clump in this uh, this backstage area. I think there. I don't think any of these are new, but we're gonna knock these ones out first. All right. First up, we have Truth or Dare. This is a a haunted uh, or a, a murderous game show, rather. All right. Can you? Will you? Should you? Please wait here. Are you ready for so we're trying out for a murderous well, game show. So Hello. All right. So in the backstage area, there's all these ropes hanging. Was this the dress? dressing room here where they uh, make the uniform. Is that a head in the water cooler? Yeah, look at all these jumpsuits to be worn by contestants of the game show. Oh, oh, through here. Oh, jeez! No electricity. I think electricity is the scariest monster of them all. Cut out. Oh, look at that. Somebody in a wrapped in barbed wire there, these cutouts. Oh, jeez! What was that? So much of flying overhead. Whoa! Whoa! Where are we? It's dark in here.
Hold your breath. Why are we holding our breath? There's gas masks there. Oh, hold your breath because there's so much fog in here. Oh, no, that's fine. Wake up! Oh! Gee, what are these people in cocoons for? Canceled. <laughs> the window. Oh. oh a splash zone. I don't want to get wet. Oh, it's like a swamp in here. Oh. Oh, a spider zone. Dirty roach room. Coated dirty roaches. Hey there! Oh, the bee room. No, not the bees. Oh, it's a compression tunnel full of bees. Ah, be compressed with bees everywhere. They're stinging. They're not really stinging me, but it'd be horrible if this was real. All right. Bloody, bloody bee suits. Bee suits are covered in blood. Oh. Compress the air cannons! Hey, wait! How did you get back here? I'm going the wrong way. You can't be over here. No! Oh, the behind the scenes area. Show. Ah! Chainsaw! <laughs> oh, good, we're safe. Then across from Tooth of the Dare, we have Vault 666 unlocked. A maze about some sort of. Uh, some sort of satanic vault. All right. Oh, look at this. It's got oddity shop in here. This one's really cool. Welcome to oh! the I was hoping I didn't startle you. No, a little bit, but it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't dream of it. Come inside, everyone, quickly. Make room for everyone. Okay. Come right in. Come right in. Come inside quickly. There's something I need to tell all of you before uh, they find out you're here. Now, once long ago, the Baffert Auction House is where the obscenely wealthy would come to be an object of the uh, supernatural. But there was one vault here, the contents of which could only be purchased sight unseen. All six, six, six. Yes. Nobody knew what lay inside them. One dark Halloween night, a curious auction house employee cut the lock off the door, releasing a terrible curse on everyone in the building. That's not good. Now their bodies corrupted, their, uh, their minds driven to madness, their, their souls forever damned. They lay trapped in these walls. Oh. Let's go inside and uh, feel free to be on anything you like. Just know the only price they'll now accept is your lives. Our lives? Oh my gosh. It's a fair price. All right. I do like, do like the attention to storytelling there. That was pretty good. Oh, here's the, the boxes. I guess these are where the satanic vault, the satanic box was delivered. Oh, look at this. Black light nightmare room. Oh, the arms. This one always creeps me out. The arms reaching out of the walls. Oh, what happened to this head? Oh, that's a... Magio Art. Oh, look at the symbols on the wall. Oh, look at that rotten zombie there. I just heard a scream somewhere. Give me your soul! Oh! What's my soul? Who was that? Oh, look at this. this creepy house full of dolls. Faceless woman. All the. Ah! Oh, you scared me. Oh. That one got me. Oh, someone screamed in my ear. Oh. These shadowy figures in here. I hope one of them's not actually a real person. Oh, oh 
them was! That one was. Ah, two of them are! Oh my gosh. You can see the item here displayed for auction. And their auction numbers on them. What's this? The Riperto Demon. What's back in here? Ah! ah! You're real! I really thought that one wasn't real, but it was. Oh! It's a trick they pull. They try to look less real. Oh. Some stocks there, tortured skeletons, oil drums. You know, I'm just listing things I see for some reason. We're not done yet. We're not done yet? The auction's just over there. The auction's over here. Oh, this door here. The auction. What kind of auction house is this? Dying for some company? I'm sorry. All we need is your soul and you can stay here with them for as long as you want. We don't need any money, just your soul. Just our soul. It's not like you guys are using your souls anyway for who Ali taking from you. That's true, but that maybe enough. Alright. Alright, and the last haunt in this haunt clump is condemned. This one's like a nasty house, kind of a gross out type haunt. Or at least it has. It's changed a little bit over the years. Alright, into this condemned house. Deer mount there. Who let you in oh, my house? The lady out front. Oh my god. I haven't had time to clean. I'm not ready for food. Oh, it's not that bad. It's well, come in before you let the cat go. Oh, uh, oh my god. Oh, that's a dirty cat box full of turds. Yeah, this is like, oh, it's just a gross house. Oh, hey there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, look at this. Kitchen is absolutely infested. Oh, we gotta duck down. Oh, there's mops. There's filthy mops we gotta go through. Oh my gosh. Dirty mops. They'd only use these mops to clean the place once in a while. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Ah, hey. Dirty child's bedroom. Oh, into the dirty closet. Oh my god. Oh. Ah, there's someone in the closet. Oh. Oh, things get spookier here. Now there's like mummies and spiders and spider webs. Oh, a clown up there. Dirty toilet there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's like turds all over the wall. Oh look, there's a Burger Time uh, arcade machine. Hey. <laughs> oh, these garden garden hoses here? Into the shed? <laughs> oh, thank you, I appreciate it. Another proud subscriber. Oh yeah, it's the backyard here. Oh, everything's trashed. Yeah. Furniture, appliances tossed out into the backyard here. Got their, their vicious dog. Man, going through that haunt, and this is no joke, I'm being 100% serious. Going through that haunt every year reminds me of when I worked in child protective services. I've been, I've been in real houses that are that dirty. Oh yeah, over there you can see uh, Sam from the uh, from the Trick or Treat movies. We'll be checking out his haunt in a little bit. We're headed back to the DC Universe area where the opening ceremonies were. I'm gonna do some of the haunts over in this direction. Yeah, back here is where the clowns hang out. Hey, buddy! <laughs> I like your teeth. Oh. Yeah, you see these no good clowns 
tore up this tore up this cop car here from a Midway City. Oh look at this, they totally smashed out the smashed out the front windshield. Oh you know me? Oh awesome, pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, don't hit me with a hammer now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it turned so quickly. <laughs> you know, I think it's so cool when the scare actors recognize me. But then I get to thinking about it and I wonder, is my entire audience a bunch of monsters and ghouls sitting at their computers watching me? <laughs> They got these big Christmas ornaments up here too. I guess you can, uh, you can just leave those up for the uh, for the upcoming Christmas season. Oh, there's another smashed up car. All oh, these clowns, these clowns, they uh, they're up to something, and it's and it's not great. <laughs> is he gonna do it? There he is. Go for the slide. So this is a new scare zone for this year, uh, Underworld of Oz. I'm, I'm maybe like Wizard? Wizard of Oz? Oh my gosh, I think it is Wizard of Oz. We have these statues of these winged gorillas. The flying monkeys here. Oh my God, I was not expecting, I did not know about this. I didn't know they had a Wizard of Oz themed uh, scare zone. Oh, is this the wizard? Are you the wizard? Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> is this the, uh, is this the Emerald City? Oh, look at the logo here where it says Oz. The O is like a monkey face and the Z is a tornado. Flying monkeys and tornadoes. Mr. Flying Monkey, sir. <laughs> oh no, he's aggressive. <laughs> Oh, 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 she's skittering. Monkeys here don't fly, they skitter. Oh, Scarecrow, <laughs> I'll miss you the most of all. Oh. Oh. oh, who is that guy? I didn't recognize him. They have this like armored Wizard of Ozmobile. Yeah, look at the mural here with the flying monkeys. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I think this is actually a reference to Return to Oz, where Princess Mombi cut off the heads of different women and then she could switch her heads. She kept all the heads in glass boxes. Oh, that's a good, that's a good deep cut there. We're gonna return to Oz. Hi there! Hey! How's it going? Going good! Oh, that's good to hear. Woo. So, what do you think so far? Oh, I love it! Like Oz? I'm a big fan of Oz, yeah. That's good. What's your favorite part so far? Uh, Flying Monkey was pretty cool. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Uh, I saw one Flying Monkey. Oh, there's like seven right there. Seven? Boy. Hi. Okay, cool. What's that, sorry? What's that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Oh, no, I saw one Flying Monkey over that way. Oh. We have quite a couple of those. You have quite a few? I'll keep my eye out. I'll keep my eye out. Good. Just caution. Oh, is that? Who's that? I already shoot mine in my collection. Oh! These are your heads? Yes, they are. You can switch them out? Um, yes, I mean, every single day. I have one for every day of the week. Except oh, Thursday. that's amazing. Thursday. Yes! Well, you see, I don't have one for Thursdays, though. You don't have one for Thursdays? Why not? Well, well I thought it was because I didn't like Thursdays, but I'm really th I just have the right head, and you, my friend, you do look like a Thursday. You want my head? Yes. Uh, I don't know. These are really good looking heads. I don't know if I would look good in there. You'd fit right in. You sure? You look like with your mutton chops and everything. <laughs> you fit right in. Does the hat come with? Sure, sure, sure. Do you think you promise? All right. I'll, at the end of the night, I'll come back and I'll give you my head. You bet I will. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. We welcome you to Munchkin Land. La da 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 da. And I do love this. They uh, had kind of a steampunk scare zone here the last couple years. I think this is, uh, this is a great addition. Wizard of Oz scare zone. Why, why, why has no one done this until now? I caught another kid vaping the fog. Kids, 
don't vape the fog. We're gonna do our first IP maze of the evening, the saw maze. It's Gideon meat packing, has kind of a, I guess a meat factory theme on the outside. All right, heading in here. Oh, there's a TV that's showing us right now. It's diabolical. They want to play a game? Not particularly. Oh, there's a pig man. Oh, pig man. We got Billy up there. Here's some other pigs. Oh, look at all those in internal organs right there. Whoa, pig man again. Oh, constant pig man attack. They have a bucket on their head. The trap being developed. The gas mask, big target there. Oh, loud noises and spraying. Oh, pig man. Pig man is in non-stop. Whoa, she's got the trap on her face. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, gross. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, pig man. And then what the heaven there. Eyeball sucked out. Oh, this is like the first movie in the bathroom. Oh, there's a guy sawing. Slide his leg off. Oh! Don't pull my leg off. Uh oh. Oh no! Trying to cut her own leg off. Terrific. Oh, what's happening in here? I'm afraid. Please help me, please. Oh. Something's wrong with their face. <laughs> oh, one more pig man and game over. You exit through the gift shop here where you have some saw merchandise. Someone murdered with barbed wire and all the different uh, saw shirts here. Okay, just check the map and it looks like somehow I missed Stranger Things, I walked past it, so I'm gonna head back this way and see if we can find it. One thing, the Six Flags Magic Mountain, I can never, never find my way around here. This is probably the fourth or fifth time I've been here, and um, I always get lost. Uh, I've never, one thing is I've never been, never, never been to the park in the daylight. So maybe if I came during the day sometime, I could orientate myself a little better. But uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta do that sometime. I've, I've done this park so many times, but never just done it in like normal daytime. Yeah, I must have just walked past this somehow before. We have the uh, Stranger Things haunt takes place in the Hawkins High School. What? Welcome to Hawkins. All right, here we go. And yeah, just like Six Flags over Georgia, they have the Halloween haunt theme where it's a haunted house in the Stranger Things universe. Hey, a pumpkin head! Oh my gosh. Whoa! All right, oh! The uh, tentacles are already taking over. Where am I? The water fountain. That's a demo dog, actually. Where are we going out into the woods here? Ah, oh, a tree man. Okay. Well, this is uh. Fire for my. Oh, sorry. Okay, are we in the lab now? Munson's 
trailer. There's Eddie Munson right there, fighting the bats. Oh, what is occurring? A lot of skittering on the wall. Okay, we're in the house. That. Spiders on the wall. Oh, is that 11? Oh no. We're in the upside down. Oh, look at that. Vecna. Oh, there's snow. See the snow coming down. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, He's rising up. The cheerleader all caught up, the tentacles there. Stranger Things haunt were both very similar to the versions that we did in Six Flags over Georgia. So, but all the rest of the IPs are IPs that they did not have at Six Flags over Georgia. So, it'll all be new to me. This right here is called Crazanity, which I guess is a mixture of craziness and insanity. This is like even bigger version of the uh, sort of ride that I, uh, was avoiding when I was doing the state of state fairs. Uh, I need to try something like this one of these days. I think I'll try one one of these days. Not tonight, and not at Six Flags because they don't let you film on the rides. But if I find one where I can film on it, I will. Uh, I will ride it for you guys. trick-or-treat themed bar here. I guess uh, trick-or-treat haunt is around the corner. It's a really fun uh, anthology movie. Love horror anthologies and trick-or-treat was a lot of fun. No, yeah, it's interesting. The, uh, the lines here, there was absolutely no line for Stranger Things. The trick-or-treat has a huge line. Alright, we are headed in. Trick-or-treat. Big ghost right here. Put the candy out in their porch. Limbs hanging. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Sam! No, oh, don't cut me with a lollipop. <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy. Deal. Headed into the swamp. Oh yeah, the, the, the school bus that went into the water. Oh, there's one of the kids. Oh! They submerged it. Their rabbit just submerged. Gonna, gonna pop up somewhere. There we go. Oh, that was fun. I like the school bus. Oh, pile of pumpkins. There's a Sam animatronic. Well, there he is again. Oh, no, don't stab me. Oh, bright moon out tonight. Took a jack o' lantern. Some more houses here. They all have their candy laid out. Oh, what's this room? Spooky bedroom. Ah! Who is that? 
It says, trick or treat, give me something sweet to eat. I don't think that's how it goes. Oh, mirror maze. Hopefully there's no... Oh, there he is. Little Sam. Oh, okay. Oh, I got lost in the mirror maze. What's to go through here? All right, burlap in here. Oh, this room full of pumpkin guts. All right. Like the battle for Metropolis here inside the Hall of Justice is actually open for the event. It's always been closed in uh, past years. It's true. Oh wow, there's no one in here right now. Your unpredictable approach to crime kept the justice. That's awesome. Oh, we got the cyborg animatronic in here. Youngest member of the Justice League and the team's technology expert, Superman and Batman already told you about the situation here in Metropolis. Well, it's gone from bad to worse. Now that we know where the captured members of the League are being held, we need your help to break in and rescue them. Are you ready to get out there and represent the Justice League? And our chariot awaits. Okay, so they asked me not to film on the ride, so I wasn't able to film on the ride. And uh, I did go ahead and ride it anyways, though. I, have not, I don't think I've been to ride on every Justice League ride, Battle for Metropolis, but um, I've been on a handful of them. I may have been to... They have had different Six Flags. And again, I'm not sure all the ones I've ridden, but I've ridden a good good amount of them. And I actually think that one might be a little better than, than some of the others. There were some little extra animatronics mixed in. There was uh, some guys with machine guns that were shooting down at you. And then at the very end, there was a Harley Quinn animatronic. She had a can. It looks like maybe she was supposed to blast you with fog, but um, I don't think she was working tonight. But uh, yeah, that one had a little, little few little extra things than uh, the other... Uh, Battle for Metropolis rides may uh, not have had. Now part of the reason they call it Magic Mountain is because it's built on the side of a mountain. So we're gonna venture up this uh, pathway here. Um, there's two, uh, two haunts up here, two of the classic uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain haunts. Two, uh, you know, two old favorites up here. The only thing as you walk up here, you do the two haunts, then you gotta walk back down the mountain. Just look at this. Just look how steep this is. <laughs> this is the Sewer of Souls. It is the uh, poop and sewer themed haunt. A, uh, again, a Six Flags classic. All right, in to the sewer. <laughs> Pooping noises being, being piped in the dirty toilet. Ah! Oh man. Yeah, look at this giant pile of poop right here. This is like black light poop. You hear no, no, I do not want to trade places. Thank you though. <laughs> okay. We're gonna beat me to the rats! Beat me to the rats! Beware of the rat. Oh, there's the rat! There's the rat right there! <laughs> Alright, where are we now? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you know my name! <laughs> Sewer knows my name. <laughs> Don't breathe. I'm mean, gonna have to breathe. Oh, there's toxic waste in here. That's why we don't want to breathe. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Oh! Oh! I literally 
optical illusion. I almost thought it was gonna fall. Oh, more compression. All right, this is one of the compressors that's like, doesn't cover your head. Well, now, it's, now it is, now it's covering my head. Oh, watch out. Oh, I was looking at these people. I thought one of them was real. Then the guy just yelled behind me. All right. Are we free? You're here forever. Forever? All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh. oh, the throat slit. And the fan. Now this tower has always been closed every time I'm here. Someday I'd like to get to the top of that tower. Good evening. It's not talkative. And this is like their classic old school haunt here. Kind of this general spooky house theme. It's called uh, Willoughby's Resurrected. So it looks like they actually changed the entrance, moved it over here. We did at least some minor reconfiguring. Well, that's a spooky clock. Some ghosts peering in the windows. Oh. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hotel. Awesome. Would you hope you enjoy your stay? I will try. You're never leaving. Okay. <laughs> Oh no. You have to leave! I have to leave! No, no, stay. Stay, help me. Help you? Help me! Oh, I can't help. Sorry. I have no stay. help at all. You have to stay. Help me! Help me! Oh my god. You can't leave me! Oh no. Oh, what happened here? Oh my gosh. It tested. Distracted, and it distracted by her crawling around in the intestines, and then this guy jumps out at me. Oh, what a double whammy! Shh. Oh, be quiet. Movie's right this way. There's a movie. What's wrong? <laughs> Running by the cemetery. Oh. There's a lot of scares in here. Oh, the Satan room. Oh. It's a wicker castle. <laughs> so much yelling and scaring in here. See you up there! <laughs> My God! Oh dear! Oh. oh, there's someone grabbing at me in the dark. Let me out of here. Oh, there's so many scares going on in there. Oh yeah, it's a long walk, but you got to do it. You got to do it for the for the toilet haunt. Oh, we got another Sam here. That's Sam with uh, with his mask off. I've got the big crazy smile up there as well. The hearse over here, what's it got on it? Oh, it's got like skeletons, I think, on the side. Oh, who's driving it? Some sort of skeleton man. <laughs> Scary. 
scare zone over here called the dead zone. Look, there's someone in the trash. Hello. <laughs> ah, it's just like Oscar the Grouch. Oh my gosh. Whoa! I came out of this outhouse here. Oh! Oh! Outhouse monsters. And dumpsters. And outhouses. Oh! Another dumpster dweller. Hey, what's that? Oh, nunchucks! All right, we're headed into our next haunt. This is a new one called Aftermath Nocturnal Hunt. So I don't know, maybe some vampires? Nocturnal Hunt? Oh, gosh! Why? Oh, come on, calm down. Oh, jeez. Got me that big air cannon. Oh! Okay, I think, oh, these are zombies. These are zombies, okay. Oh. <laughs> ah! Oh jeez. Okay. Yeah, some sort of zombified area. Nocturnal hunt. Okay. Oh, this is cool. All this garbage. See the big uh big van there? The dead corpse. Oh, listen to that rattle. <laughs> All right. We saw the, we focused on the haunt here. Like a, uh, like a kid's playground area. Ah! Oh, there's another zombie. <laughs> now burned out, looks like a burned out plane. Junky cars. Oh, a skitterer. We got a skitterer on our hands. Oh gosh. Oh, what are these hanging bags of disgusting? This big statue here. Oh, I see you. Where are we headed? Is a zombie in a fridge? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Your flesh! Your face is all infected! <laughs> oh! Oh, look at these pustules. Okay, so Nocturnal Hunt empties out into a second haunt. And this is Army of the Dead. This is another, another zombie, another zombie haunt. Oh, yeah, look at that. Big flame there. Yeah, Army of the Dead, the, uh, that movie that came out on Netflix that had uh, Batista in it. It was a lot of fun. Let's uh, let's check this out. Yeah, big building here. The Olympus Casino. Oh yeah, it was like a heist movie where uh, they had to fight zombies. Oh, you hear the Las Vegas, Las Vegas music. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It took place. In uh, in Las Vegas, we're in the zombie. Oh! Oh! Crash motorcycle here on the front of the casino. Yacht. Oh! This is the employee entrance of the casino. We're going on a heist. Oh, zombie! 
Oh, zombie buffet here, like a Las Vegas buffet, but for zombies, still the intestines. That makes sense. The cocktail lounge here. You got your showgirl. Showgirl's costume. Oh yeah, there's lots of zombies. Lots of zombies in here. A horrible zombie noise. Why are the zombies face to the wall? They had time out. This is the rest and relax salon here. Oh, what kind of a salon is that? Oh, it's a tiger eating someone. Like uh, Siegfried and Roy, the unfortunate incident that happened there. Someone has destroyed these gambling tables. Oh, here's the vault. The heist. Thanks for visiting fabulous Las Vegas. Okay, we have one more haunt to do. We gotta head up, uh, back up another mountain trail to get there. There are Sam's all over Six Flags. And our final haunt of the evening, another IP haunt, the Conjuring Universe. Now last year this was just the Conjuring. Now it is called the Conjuring Universe. So I think they may, possibly they may incorporate some characters from other, uh, other movies in the Conjuring Universe. In here. Oh, very cool. Right in the corner. Oh, look, there it is. Annabelle the doll. All right, we're going this way through the house. Oh! Oh, who's that? Oh! There's all these crucifixes on the wall. The flashing red lights. Oh! Oh, uh, a witch? Oh, yeah, there's a witch in the first conjuring. Oh, no. Oh, the hands. The hands of the nun there. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. That was pretty crazy. Cemetery here. Ow! Ow! He throwing holy water on me. <laughs> was that was that one of the warheads throwing holy water? Oh, who's the running guy? Crooked umbrella. Oh, look at that! That's cool. The shadow there, Annabelle. Oh my gosh. Oh, who is, okay. Well, what's under, oh, it was a levitating chair. Oh, what's that? Ow, oh, is that the devil? Oh my God. Oh. Oh. oh wow. 
we descend back down the mountain to flat ground. <laughs> I'll see you in your nightmares my tonight, nightmares. child. Oh my. And into the woods you go. Into the woods. Oh, this guy's got a pig head. Oh, you got a pig face? And you're holding a pig's face. Oh. Hi. Hi. Where are you going? Down the hill. Why? Uh, just head it down there. <laughs> Gotta go home. Why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch out, mister. Oh. oh, who are you? <laughs> oh, here's my friend over here. Yes, you came to get one of my world famous pedicures, didn't you? Pedicures, yes, yes, I did. Yes, I can take your legs off while you're waiting. I was like, while I'm waiting. I have my own spa. <laughs> you have your own Lorraine, spa? Lorraine. Taking your legs off while you uh, wait since 2011, dear. <laughs> Sounds yes, wonderful. I can do a chemical peel. A chemical I peel. I can do a laser eyelash removal. <laughs> Maybe a little Botoxic, dear. Botox? Yes, and then no Botoxic. <laughs> it's all in the toxic, dear. All in the toxic. I got gotcha. you. in the toxic. Then come stay at the dead and breakfast. The dead and breakfast. Yes, it's a converted mausoleum. <laughs> Okay. Six feet under if you can be top drawer, I always say. I say the same thing. Did you want the pillow top or the memory foam? Uh, memory foam. Very good. <laughs> Did you want Wi-Fi or would you like peace and quiet? I need that Wi-Fi. I need, I need oh, that. Oh, hi. <laughs> now, when you check into my dead and breakfast, that's when the action happens. <laughs> the embalming starts. The embalming? Yes, I have coffee and Embalming fluid, dear. It's coffee and embalming yes. fluid. Yes, coffee infused. It's turbocharged. <laughs> it's gonna get you to the afterlife. Oh, that's what it's for. Just as quick as a wink. <laughs> yes, your afterlife is awaiting, dear. Come join the party. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much. Always my pleasure. Yes, dear. Now tell me who you are, sweet boy. Uh, my name's Jacob. Yes, dear. And who are you with? I, uh, I, I, I'm with myself. I have a, ch I have a YouTube channel you called the, the Carpet Bagger. Yes. I've heard of you, sweet. You've heard of me. Yes, I think we've met in the past. I think so. Yeah, I, I remember so, you. Too. You come back and see me again. I'll come back next year. Oh dear, we'll have to miss you the next two weeks. <laughs> but it was a pleasure as always. My Jacob. pleasure. Thank you so I much. I always have a drawer available. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye. Toodles. Toodles. Oh, look at these mushrooms. Oh, look at these creepy skull face sunflowers. Oh, some sort of bird man. And you're the sheriff. <laughs> oh, God. I get it. I got you. I got you. Oh, another bird man. Oh, you got a brain? You're eating the brain? <laughs> oh, nice. I feel like there was a lot of bird people here tonight. <laughs> oh, there's one more Sam. Got this super creepy, ominous music playing with, uh, with the carousel ride here. Pretty ominous. Oh! Oh, you pulled my eyeball out. Give it back. Oh. Oh, look at this creature here. What is it? Walking backwards. Oh! Here it comes. Oh my gosh. Some spooky stuff. Monkey. What? Monkey. Monkey. Buck E. Yeah, you say. Oh yeah, Bucky on my shirt. I thought you were saying monkey. Monkey, monkey, yeah. <laughs> Ah! Okay. 
And this Fright Fest, I do believe, was quite extreme. So another Fright Fest here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Always have a good time when I come out here. As you see, it's a huge event. There's all these different haunts, all these different scare zones. A little bit, a little bit of something for everyone. And, uh, and a lot of the cast gives it, you know, just gives it that something extra. I'd love to, you know, the, it's good energy, good energy here at uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Very interesting to see how they incorporate um, IPs for the first time here. And uh, who knows, you know, there may be some new IPs next year. Um, I, you know, I enjoy IPs, um, I, but I, I do like, you know, a lot of times, um, when when uh, when amusement parks, theme parks, take the opportunity to use a little creativity, which we saw tonight in the uh, the Oz themed uh, the Oz themed haunt. I was not expecting to see a Wizard of Oz themed scare zone tonight. So it has been it has been quite the trip out here to Southern California. We've done quite a few haunts and Halloween Horror Nights. We've done Knott's Scary Farm. We've done, let me see, what else have we done? We did Dark, Dark Harbor, we did SeaWorld, San Diego, and then tonight we did Six Flags, Magic Mountain, Fright Fest, Extreme. Yeah, it's been a, been a great trip. It's, an, it's become a great tradition coming out to Southern California to experience all these different haunts. And, uh, but it is, a, it, it is, this is the last of our grand SoCal haunt tour because tomorrow I'm hopping back on a jet plane and I'm heading back home but I will not be home for very long at all because almost immediately me and Jen are going to get in the car and we are going to drive to Salem Massachusetts and enjoy the end of the spooky season and Halloween day in Salem Mass Massachusetts but uh, I did want to thank you, know, thank you guys for coming along and, uh, and experiencing these great haunts with me, these great uh, Southern California haunts. If there's any haunts that you guys would like to see me add to my, uh, to my Southern California haunt rotation, leave a uh, comment in the comments section. I was considering, um, considering uh, the... Uh, Hollywood Haunted Hayride. I did that one year. The first year I came out here, I did that. Um, it got it got cut off the list. It didn't make quite make the cut. You had the five days: Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can do haunts. That did not uh, did not. Make, if I had one more day, I might have done the uh, Hollywood Haunted Hayride. But leave a comment. Let me know what other haunts in this area you'd like to you'd like to see me do next year. And hopefully, it will be next year. I hope I, I, I have made a tradition of this. Um, started night 2019 only missed only missed trips because of the pandemic but other than that uh, made it every year um, again thank you guys so much if you like these videos please subscribe I travel around the country I film roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun random stuff if uh, you would like to help out the channel help support the channel consider contributing to patreon three dollars or more get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling uh, enamel pins in the Etsy shop as well as uh, pressed pennies and stickers and uh, also doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you'd like to receive a Cameo from me to you, to your friend, to your family member, then uh, all that information is in the description of this video those guys are dancing dancing over there the traffic the traffic organizers are dancing all those things of course of course help keep this spooky train on the track the ship of the damned on the sea and this dirigible from hell in the air until next time my friends this one's in the bag